Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak. Hello everyone and welcome to our kitchen. We're going to be making a special Ramadan treat tonight. Yusuf, what are we what book are we using as our inspiration? Remember what that's called? I forgot again. Oh, you forgot. What is it called, Tom? It's Ramadan Curious George. It's Ramadan Curious George. And Yusuf, what treat are we making? Chocolate covered bananas on a stick right here, but we don't have sticks. That's right. That. So in this book, spoiler alert, we're gonna be reading it to you tonight. Um, Curious George and the Man in the Yellow Hat bring chocolate-covered frozen okay. bananas to an iftar. Now, I don't know if this is a traditional Ramadan treat someplace in the world or just a special snack that Tr Curious George likes, but we're going to be making that tonight. Now, as Yusuf said, normally uh, this is done by just peeling open a banana, sticking in a popsicle stick, freezing it, and then dipping that in the chocolate. But we're going to do things a little bit differently tonight because we yeah. don't have uh, popsicle sticks. We've got some used ones from popsicles, but that's not going to be good. And we don't want to make a special trip to go to the supermarket right now. So we're actually going to be uh, cutting up the bananas and freezing those, and then dipping the banana slices into chocolate and covering those banana slices with some special uh, toppings. Uh, I think this actually sounds better uh, for a post-iftar snack. Um, you know, you don't want to be eating a whole chocolate banana, but you might want one or two pieces that you can have with uh, coffee or tea or a glass of cold milk uh, after you've had iftar. So we're going to tell you uh, the ingredients you need for this, this special treat, then we're going to walk you through some of the steps. So first and foremost, of course, you need bananas. 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 So three or four bananas will do. Um, you're going to need about two cups of semi-sweet or milk chocolate chips. Um, and you're going to need some coconut oil. Coconut Any kind of vegetable oil will do. I like coconut oil. It's got kind of a sweet taste for, um, for these types of sweet treats. You're going to need uh, two tablespoons of those. And um, any kind of toppings you want to put on them. We, we've got some salted pistachios that we've ground up here using just a mortar and pestle. We've got some ground up pecans. We've got some crushed walnuts. Um, crushed peanuts would do. I was looking for some coconut. I couldn't find any. I'm sure we've got somewhere somewhere in the cupboard there, but I couldn't find it. Uh, sprinkles would be fun. Uh, do any kind of toppings you'd like uh, just to make it fun. So we'll walk you through some of the steps here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is, well, there's a couple of options here. You can start by slicing up some bananas and getting some of those chilled in the, in the freezer. We've already sliced up one banana and we've got that chilling in the freezer. Then we want to start um, melting our chocolate, and I'll, I'll tell you how to do that. So once you've got the chilled bananas and the melted chocolate, then you can bring the bananas out and just start dipping them in, and that's the fun part. And then you want to chill those in the refrigerator, or rather the, the freezer again. Now you don't have to freeze the bananas to begin with. Um, I'm just chilling them for about uh, half an hour or so. Uh, makes them a, a bit easier to dip into the chocolate, but you can, you can just do it um, in, at room temperature as well. So uh, after you've got some bananas chopped, and we'll do that, we'll chop some more in a minute, you've got them uh, chilled in the freezer, then it's time to melt the chocolate. Now there's a few ways of doing that. Uh, I've got some chocolate right here, already prepped. Now you can just put this, pop it in the microwave, in a microwave safe bowl uh, for 15, 20, 30 seconds, and I'll stir it around, do another 15, 20, or 30 seconds, stir it around until it's, it's nice and, um, and and liquefied. The other way of doing this, you have, if you have a double boiler then you already know uh, what to do, but you can boil some water in a pan here, stick the, uh, the heat safe dish into the pan, and just kind of heat it on the stove, and just keep stirring until it's nice and liquefied. And after it's uh, melted, that's when you want to add the two tablespoons of coconut oil because that helps really um, keep the, the, the chocolate nice and, and, and liquidy. So when you, you can get a nice dip there uh, with, your, with your bananas and that's going to, to freeze and you can just sprinkle the toppings right on top. Okay, we've got our chocolate melting away in the background there. So in the meantime, someone's going to peel another banana. And we're going to prep some bananas. We're going to slice them into about inch or half inch slices, put them on some parchment paper, put them into the freezer, and then get them ready. Now someone's done this before, and show us the proper way uh, to cut um, using a sharp knife like this. Okay, some tips is you've got, like, 
You can do this so you don't chop your fingers off. If you right, do that we want to make that kind of monkey paw grip. And if you need parental supervision, that's okay. Yes, definitely. And definitely kids, wash your hands. Kids, right, first wash your hands. Kids, we're doing this at home. Get mom and dad's help. Yeah. Or kinda, this or that. You can kind of just do a, a rocking motion like this. Yeah. Should we give Yusuf a turn? Sure. Now Yusuf's got experience doing this, but again, uh, definitely get mom and dad's help with this. Yes. Or grandma or, or grandpa or auntie or uncle or big yes, sister. Yes, or, or, or this, or this, or that. Right. Good job. Yusuf, remember to tuck those fingers in. Can you have a try by myself? Yep. Just tuck those fingers in. Okay. Maybe we should get a nice straight cut like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Salma, you can keep mixing the chocolate. We'll show them what you're doing there. Okay, maybe one more. I'm going to tuck those fingers in. I'm going to okay. slice these down. Careful, don't grab it with that. Okay, there you go. All right, I think that's good for now. Should we go yeah. check on the chocolate? Yes, go check on the chocolate. All right, we're gonna check. All right folks, okay. here we are. We've got our uh, frozen bananas there, fresh you out of the freezer. You've got to touch them. They feel so good. Yeah. Not the bananas. That the tray. Yeah, the frozen tray, nice and cool. It's so cool. Uh, and we've got uh, our burning hot. Nice melted chocolate here. This is still really warm, uh, so be careful. Don't touch the um, the dish, but you want to keep it nice and warm as you're dipping. Um, you don't want it to solidify yet. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a couple of forks uh, yeah. and stick them into our bananas. Dip yeah. them into our chocolate. And then we can, uh, you can either dip them right into the, the nuts we've got here. But make oh. sure you you don't accidentally put the fork in here. Yeah, don't accidentally stab yourself with the fork. That yeah. would be bad. Just kind of swirl it around in there. Oh, come on. Put it on the tray when it's ready. All right, so we're going to do a couple more of these, and then we're going to start sprinkling. All right, it's been about six hours, so we're going to check on our frozen bananas here. And I'm the It looks like they turned out pretty well. We've got pistachio and almond, <laughs> sorry, uh, pecan and walnut topping on there. Um, we're not going to try it yet because it's still a few minutes to iftar. We're going to have to save this for after iftar. Uh, but let us know if you decided to try your own recipe. Uh, if you managed to put any coconut or um, sprinkles or any other Here's toppings on there and share some pictures with us. Hope you enjoyed. Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak.